So it's not very often that you see Army guys jumping out of a Marine aircraft onto an Air Force airfield, but that's what happened today. Captain Silsby and her operations flight had an exciting weekend working with their sister services. Soldiers from the 412th Civil Affairs Battalion and six other Army units conducted day and night airborne operations training on Wright-Patterson's airfield. Our interaction with the Marines was in terms of taking their PPR, their prior permission required, which they need to get onto our airfield. And then we worked with the Army on their jump requirements, what they needed to be able to hit the airfield. 50 soldiers, 1,250 feet high, jumped from two Marine C-130s. So why would anyone jump from a perfectly good airplane? Today we're going through uh, airborne training, which is just basically to maintain airborne proficiency with our battalion. The operation was routine for the 412. They jump out of aircraft several times a year, but doing it at Wright Pet is not. This training marks the first airborne jump operation at Wright Patterson Air Force Base since World War II. Well, you know, there's a sense of pride that they can you know, tell their kids and their, their grandkids someday, look, I, I jumped into Wright-Patterson and it was the first time since 1948. So this is historical. This exercise kept soldiers airborne proficient while honing experience in joint operations. It's really great for my air traffic controllers to be able to see what this kind of operation looks like. A lot of the guys up in the tower are pretty young and some of them have had some experience overseas, but a lot of them haven't. So it's great for them to see what this kind of operation would look like. After nearly two years of preparation and planning, this training ended with two successful drop zone operations. Reporting from Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio, I'm Senior Airman Francesca Pancham.